Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at measuring the performance of a ACS 712 Hall Effect style current sensing module when used to measure AC current. So here's the test setup. So I have an extension cord and I've patched into that the ACS module right here. I also have a uh, kilowatt meter here to measure the amperage. And then the cord actually goes to a plug here, which goes to a lamp, which has th three bulbs, a 50 watt, 200 watt, and 250 watt bulb to give me varying levels of uh, current draw. So the measurements that I'll be taking, I have set up here a digital multimeter and also an oscilloscope probe. And then if you trace the signal down, I also have a signal conditioning circuit. And I have the same setup over here. I have another multimeter and another oscilloscope probe. Over here I have two multimeters. And then over here I have a uh, two signal oscilloscope. So that's the setup that I'll be using to explore how the sensor performs when measuring AC current. Okay, for the first trial, let's take a look at the raw signal from the Hall Effect sensor module measuring AC current. Currently I have the oscilloscope set up with just that one trace. The value is a straight line and it's at 2.6 volts which is half the input power supplied to the module of 5.2 volts. Currently the lamp isn't turned on so there's theoretically zero current flowing although the kilowatt is measuring 0 0.06 amps. So now let me turn on the lamp to the first bulb which is the 50 watt. You can see the center point of the trace is staying the same but there's fluctuation up and down as you would expect from an AC signal. The uh, value at the uh, DC multimeter is still 2.6 volts because again it's taking the RMS average. That's on the DC scale. And if I flip to the AC scale, I'm now reading 0 0.08 volts AC. So if I go to the 200 watt bulb, again the center point staying the same, I'm still getting 2.6 volts DC, and the volts AC is now 0.32 volts. And finally, flipping to the 250 watt bulb. The um, volts DC is 2.6 and the volts AC is 0.42. And if I forgot to mention before, the scale on the oscilloscope, every grid square vertically is worth a half a volt. So the point here is that this signal that's coming out, the raw signal coming out of the uh, Hall effect sensor module, if you're trying to read this with a microprocessor at the analog pin or the ADD port, this is going to be nonsense to the uh, microprocessor. It won't see really anything of value. So that's the issue that we have to address. Okay, for the uh, second test, I've actually changed the setup a little bit, so now we have two signals that we're measuring. The top one is the same as we measured in the first test. That's the raw signal from the Hall Effect sensor module. The second signal at the bottom is the signal after the signal conditioning circuit. And the scaling is still the same for uh, both traces. So the top one is again with the lamp off 2.6 volts. And the bottom one after signal conditioning is about 0.46 volts. So let me turn on the lamp to the first position, the 50 watt bulb. 
the amperage is again 0.45 the raw signal value is 2.6 and the signal now from the after the signal condition is about 0.62 a uh, <clears throat> nice steady line with no fluctuation that would be easy for the microprocessor to read let me turn to the next bulb which is the 200 watt bulb and we can see now the same signal for the raw that we got in the first trial and now the signal from the signal conditioning circuit is about let's see uh, 1.34 or so again a nice straight line and finally going to the 250 watt bulb the amp draw is 2.25 and the um, signal from the raw Hall effect sensor is 2.6 and about 1.57 after the signal conditioning. So by adding the signal conditioning we can get a readable signal for the microprocessor that's proportional to the current which is what we want. So if you look at the notes I'll point you to the instructable.com write up on this so you can see how to build the circuit and how to incorporate everything together so you can then get a usable signal for a microprocessor uh, to read AC current. Here's the analysis that we collected during our uh, little trial. So here's the bulb, uh, no bulb illuminated to 250 watts. Here's the corresponding amperage draw. And here's the voltage signal after the signal conditioning circuit. So we plotted these values over here. And here are the plot points. Drew a straight line through them. And then calculated an equation. I used Excel here. Used the trend line function, which is actually linear regression. So Y would be the amp value. And then X would be the volt value. So if you plug the volts in for, y, or in for X in this equation, the result would be Y, which would be the amps. So I think most spreadsheet programs do this, and there are other ways. I think even pocket calculators, the better ones now, actually allow you to do uh, linear regression from the data. So just to close over here, and blow that, this is the actual full circuit. This is the extension cord which we've um, patched into with the Hall Effect Sensor Module. And then it goes to the signal conditioning circuit, which has a differential amplifier and a peak detection circuit. And then that just feeds into the microprocessor. So hopefully this helps people use um, this particular type of sensing technology to measure AC current with a microprocessor. Thanks for listening. And again, you can check the instructables.com write-up for all the details.